Let me tell you a little story about my best friend. She's got four legs and a brindle coat and a tail that's like three inches too long. Her name is Luna and she's my new puppy. Well, not new. She's eight months old and we got her when she was ten weeks old. One of the litter mates had a doggy disease and so all the puppies had to be quarantined. My mom is on the Seattle Humane Society's fostering list, and so we, being a family that didn't have any other dogs, we got one of them. And Luna came to us with a silly name, and so we changed it to the finest Harry Potter reference plus moon reference that we could think of that we could agree on. Uh, Scooby and Gizmo didn't work out, so... Luna was our, she's now eight months old and she's six times the size when we got her and she's just the right height. She's not too big, but she can jump up and put your paws just above your belly button. She loves biting and nipping, but it doesn't hurt. It doesn't break the skin ever. Uh, and if you like pull away, then she knows that she hurt you. She gets really excited around dogs and other and and people and, and children, especially like skateboards, things with loud noises and big trucks, because she had to be quarantined for two months when we got her in late January. And late two months after late January uh, was late March, and so all the people were also quarantined. So she's been quarantined her entire life. Uh, we've had this kind of, kind of slowly acclimate her to the rest of the world to be an operating dog it's okay though because I love her I have all the patience in the world for her uh, I'm the only one who seems to be able to walk her get her to obey any commands and that, that's okay with me she decided that her spot in the house was whatever spot was most recently vacated on the couch we think it, it might be because it's the warmest, but also because she's one of us and we steal each other's spots all the time anyway. She has her kennel, but her favorite bed is my bed, uh, which was great uh, in the spring when it was a little cooler out and I like sleeping with the window open. But now in the summer, she's a hot little potato to sleep next to. I love taking her for rides in the car. Uh, besides the fact that I'm 100% sure she's going to jump out of a moving vehicle without knowing what she's doing, and her sticking her nose out of the car and watching people on the sidewalk stare at us is beyond charming for me. I love taking her for walks. It gets me out of the house. I'm 100% sure that Luna was a huge part, the vast majority of my my recovery from the quarantine blues, about of, uh, frankly, really bad depression, um, between the months of March and June, um, you know, just not being able to see my friends, I couldn't go to school and see my teachers, grad school was on the rocks, everything was on the computer, and it, it, it just kind of sucked to be here and be a person, um, but she was there for me every day, and, uh, it was hard, but I love her. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Don't forget to click that bell.